Another week, another frenzy of headlines, fear-mongering about seed oils based on a study that I don't think many of the people sharing about actually read. One reason I say that is because the researchers didn't even look at seed oil consumption. In fact, they didn't look at diet at all. They actually isolated cancer cells from about 40 people with colorectal cancer as well as cells from people without cancer and evaluated the gene expression and lipid or fat content of those cells. They found that cancer cells had upregulated pro-inflammatory pathways and and had higher levels of arachidonic acid derivatives, which is a type of omega-6 fat, which is also pro-inflammatory. And this is what leads them to at least attempting to draw connections to seed oils. Seed oils contain linoleic acid, which is another type of omega-6 fat, which could theoretically be converted into arachidonic acid. But here's the problem. This has been studied at length, and based on randomized controlled trials, when you feed seed oils to humans, it does not increase the levels of arachidonic acid in their bodies. And there is virtually no human evidence from randomized controlled trials that seed oils raise inflammation. So the conclusions being drawn here fall flat on every front. They didn't look at seed oil intake or diet at all. Seed oils don't increase levels of arachidonic acid, and seed oils don't increase inflammation. Plus, this type of mechanistic research that looks at isolated cells in a petri dish is near the bottom of the evidence hierarchy because it rarely leads to the expected results when actually tested in humans. So I don't think we should be using this study to link cooking oils to colorectal cancer, and I certainly wouldn't use it to suggest that seed oils have been a colossal mistake.